Okay, so now it's time to begin sewing your teddy bear. We are now on step number 10, sewing on the inner ears with a running stitch. So I have my needle threaded and knotted at this point. You're always gonna come through the back of your bear and I'm gonna come a little bit in from the inner ear. I will show you in a moment how far in. You don't want to be too far in because then if something gets stuck on your inner ear, it'll take your inner ear off. So whoops, I just hit the camera. I have a camera in back of me on a chair. I'm a one woman show here. Nice, small, even stitches. Down and up. So what I'm going to do is go around the whole edge of the bear nice small even stitches. Let me see if I could bring this up to the camera to show you. So if you can see some small stitches going around the edge. I'm going to continue on this stitch and I will show you what it looks like at the end and then how to end your stitch with an ending loop knot. Once you get to the point where your pin is in your way, or what I'm trying to say is once your inner ear is secure, you can get rid of that pin and just continue sewing. The pin is there just to hold it and secure it in place. So I'm going to quickly do a few more stitches before turning the camera off. I'm going to show you how to end it. I'm then going to continue with my second inner ear. So the goal for today is to begin the first inner ear. Some of you will be able to start uh, one, continue to two. Some of you may only get to one. Some of you may even be able to sew both and start moving on to the foot pads. At that point, I will choose to um, see if I'm going to show you a video or just quickly get you going on sewing the back stitch on the foot pad. So I'm just ending it with a loop knot. As always, I like to do it two times, up, over, and through your loop, through a few fibers and hairs, up, over, and through your loop. And I just wanna bring this up to the camera. You're going to cut above your knot. I just wanna show you, I think you can see, nice, small, even stitches. Okay, all around the outer edge. I'm gonna sew the second ear sh and then show you that. And then we will be able to move on to step number 11, most likely tomorrow with the foot pads using the back stitch. So I've just started my second inner ear and I just wanted you to know if you have enough thread on your needle already, just make a new knot. But what you have to understand is this piece of thread that you use from the first inner ear most likely is not going to make its way around the inner ear if you're doing the small even stitches. So when you get to a point where you have about three inches of thread like I've taught you, you're gonna end, end, your, end your stitch and then you're going to continue sewing. So I, I, ha I may have enough thread I'll let you know if I had to re-thread and I'm going to come back. Whoops, I'm not paying attention what I'm doing. I went around the ear, which many students tend to do because they're not paying attention just like your teacher wasn't. So you're going down, you're coming up from the bottom through the inner ear, on top, going down. What you don't want to do is go over the edge. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of my second inner ear. I've kept my stitches small and close together, and I actually had enough thread. Okay, so that's plenty of thread to knot it on the back. Just remember too, it's up to you what color thread that you do use. Okay, you can change the colors from inner ears, from foot pads to the muzzle. When you accessorize, that's all up to you. That's what's going to make it uh, your bear creativity as well as being unique. Okay, so I'm going to do loop knot. I think I did two, maybe I did three. I'm not sure. I'm going to cut above it. You should always do at least one. You have to do one or it will come apart. I try to do three all the time if I have the thread. 
Okay, so here are my two inner ears using the running stitch, nice, small, even stitches. So that is the end of step number 10. Just make sure you read your directions because step number 11, let me just check. I have a check mark. I've completed that. Step number 11 is sewing the foot pad. So you're not going to the muzzle. This tells me if you're reading and following directions. Next will be the foot pads with the back stitch. And I will show you that most likely tomorrow in class.